And just like that, the 50 minute mark passed, which means I am now in the second episode of the recording session. So welcome back, guys, to Past Hope Survival. Yeah. So, if you, this is your first episode, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going diamond hunting in this rather extensive cave. And unfortunately, I'm not the spelunking type in Minecraft, so I, I, I don't really know how to go about this, especially with all these big drops and everything. Um... Although, none of these drops look like they're deep enough, or like, yeah, deep enough that I could, um, um, f die from them. Like, I don't think, I could fall down there and I don't think that I would die. I have a backup entrance. <clears throat> you know, just cause. Let me get some water. Okay, there we go. Uh, I looked at the recording file on Audacity. It's, it looks like it picked it up, but I think that by the time I finish editing you won't be able to hear it, because I figured out because finally, it only took me two months, but I'm finally starting to um, edit my Audacity tracks to make them come out better. Um, the first video that I started it with uh, was Red Dead that came out earlier this week, but then I also did my Minecraft, the latter two episodes of last recording session of Minecraft. And, um, and my first episode of, uh, what is it, of Road to Glory. But unfortunately, the first episode of Road to Glory, I think I put the bass up a bit too high, so it's ended up sounding a bit muffled in my opinion. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're free to check it out if you want. But yeah, I think, I'm, I think it came out a bit muffled. Not the way that I wanted to. Which is, I'm going to need to find like a proper um, bass setting to boost it to. Because, like, adding base does do a good job, but am I at, like, the edge? I can't place torches, so I must be at the edge of the map. Yes, I am. Lovely. And just my luck, there probably would be, like, a diamond just right right here or something. Anyway, um, but yeah. So I'm going to have to experiment a bit to find the proper base. And then, like, I also have to keep in mind that, like, just because something sounds good outside of YouTube, that does not mean that it will sound good on YouTube. Because there are, like, some videos that sound perfect outside of YouTube, but then, like, when it comes to YouTube, it just doesn't look the same for whatever reason because of, like, their audio compressing and everything. Because, you know, because, um, first of all, when you make an Audacity recording, you compress it, um... And you, when you, you compress it and export it so that you can use it in your video editing software. And then, when you uh, render it out, it gets compressed again, and then YouTube compresses it a third time. So, um, you know, it's not going to come out exactly the same as when you originally made it. You know, it's kind of like, um, what was it? Was it Vsauce 1 or Vsauce 3 that made it? Yeah, it was Vsauce 3 that made the, um... Can we save in real life video? And like it showed like this vi like they they showed this video. It was a video within the video of this guy who um he made like a recording, but then he down then he downloaded it and like re edited it like one thousand times. So like after like the one thousandth download, like so like he downloaded it and then he then he'd uh, put it in the editing software and then he would download the download so um after a while it came to a point where it just didn't you couldn't you could barely recognize it and that's kind of like the same thing that happens with uh youtube you know fortunately we can't find a happy medium yet. there's no perfect solution where we could just um what's the word where we could just um like if i could just play video games and then have like everything like edited and like perfectly in sync so all I had to do is just like literally just upload it that'd be freaking awesome I am not complaining one but that would make that would make making videos so much easier and I'm sure I'm gonna see someone in the comment section like oh my god quit complaining there are people in like freaking the army fighting for our country and stuff so you have no right to complain about you know this being too much work never once I know that someone's gonna twist my words around. Never once did I say that this is too much work. I'm just saying that it would, I wish that it would be it could be easier, because then I can make more videos, and you'd be getting more content. So quit your bitching, person, who may or may not leave that comment. Yes, I'm looking at you. You're like you're, you're pointing at yourself. You're like I know you're not talking about me. Yes, I'm talking about you, bitch. 
You wanna go? 1v1, bro. Yeah. How do you like them apples, huh? Anyway, let's stop being stupid for two, all of two seconds so that we can continue doing what we need to do, which is there is a zombie. How's it going, buddy? You know, surviving on hard is actually pretty easy. The only thing that I'm worried about are the freaking creepers. But I, I have full iron armor, so w an explosion direct hit wouldn't kill me. But what if there was like a zombie or like that snuck up or like a skeleton and then like the creeper blew up and then I get hit by a skeleton? That would really suck. Um, the Minecraft, the Xbox version, I do not think is at the point where, um, creep, or, like, a skeleton starts shooting faster the closer you get to them. So they're still pretty easy to dodge. And they're still pretty easy to deal with, but, you know. Um, what is my Y level? Y40! There's no way I'm gonna find diamonds anywhere. I need to get deeper, man. Like, fucking Inception and stuff. Um... I thought I was, like, super deep, but that's clearly not the case, and before you make it, yes, that's what she said, you sickos. You people who still use that's what she said jokes, because this is definitely 2005. I mean, it can be. Like, say... No, how would that work? Like, say you... you... No, that, that couldn't possibly work, unless you downloaded the file onto a computer and then went back in time to 2005 and decided to watch this. But would that in theory cause a paradox? I mean it all depends on if you believe that time uh, goes in a linear fashion because there are some people who believe that time that everything is literally happening and happening at once. Like literally this moment that's going on right now at the very same time you are being born at the very same time um at the very same time Napoleon is invading Russia, at the very same time the Egyptians are building the pyramids, yada yada yada, all at the very same time. There are some people who believe that. I remember, because, you know, I was watching Science Channel, because haha, I'm a nerd, and, um, you know, there's the Through the Wormhole. I believe it's Through the Wormhole with uh, Morgan Freeman. Very interesting show. There's, like, a guy who's explaining that. It was, it was actually pretty interesting. Um... So, I am I know that I mentioned last episode, like, like how, like, I don't feel like being an engineer or physicist or anything like that. And you're like, but you're like, but you, if you watched last episode, you're probably wondering, if you don't want to be those, why does that stuff interest you? I mean, it just, it just does. I just, I personally wouldn't want to make that as a career, personally, but, you know, it's still interesting to watch every now and then. I like Science Channel, it's become what Discovery Channel once was, you know, 10 years ago. I miss Discovery Channel, like, 2004, 2005 Discovery Channel when all they showed was, like, dinosaur CGI stuff. I freaking love that. <laughs> those were the best. I love those CGI dinosaur things. You can't really find them anymore, though. It's a pity. I still need to get deeper. Oh, there's lava, which means that diamond is probably close to there. Or at the very least, redstone, so... If we, if we hit lava, that means we're actually getting pretty deep, I do believe. Well, in general. We're at Y17. Yeah, we're getting close. Alright, first and foremost, I'm going to seal you up because you're bad news bears, buddy. Okay, yeah, you can go. Bye-bye. Go fuck yourself, lava. I guess not- Oh, creeper! How's it going, buddy? He still blew up. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about creepers is how, like, fickle they are. Sometimes they blow up. Like, sometimes you can be, like, right next to them. You have to be right next to them in order for them to blow up. And sometimes, um... Uh, let's patch this up so that it gets, uh... It disappears quicker. And sometimes you have to be... You can be, like, 50 feet away and they'll still blow up. It's really weird. I know that, um, if a creeper takes fall damage, it shortens their ticks. So that they blow up quicker. I learned that on, uh, Vex, one of Vex's videos. As in V-E-C-H-S... That Vex, not to be confused with Vex Persona, who is doing a series on 999, which is actually pretty interesting. You should check it out if you want to. He's also doing Persona 2, so, you know, if you want to, you can you can check him out. If you, if, if, if you want to. I mean, you, you don't have to, but, you know, no no one's forcing you. Just, just no pressure. I'm not going to, like, disown you or anything. I, I legitimately cannot. Auto saving. I legitimately cannot. You can. 
I could tell you to unsubscribe all you want, but that doesn't, that can't stop you from being subscribed to me. <laughs> what if I had the power? Like, what if content creators had the power to just make any person they wanted to unsubscribe? So it's just like, I don't like you, so I'm just gonna make you unsubscribe to my channel. Like, what if they had the power to, do, like, I guess, like, if you ban someone from your channel, would that make them automatically unsubscribe to you, or would they still be subscribed to you? And that would cause a dead subscriber. Huh, that's interesting. I never really thought about that. Anyway, for those of you who watch, uh, who are subscribed to me and you look at your sub box and you see my channel and you see an Ichigo Kurosaki picture, I can explain. Because <clears throat> for the longest time, I used an Ichigo Kurosaki picture, um, for this channel. Oh, shit. Zombie. But, um... I, I since stopped, obviously, which is why I have the logo. I've changed my logo twice, legitimately. And Norton background thingy. Um, I'm not. Sh I'm gonna do that. I hope that that doesn't um fuck up the recording. I really hope it doesn't. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. But like for some reason, YouTube and like. Cause like everyone is like, when did you change your channel to like Ichigo Kurosaki? It's like I didn't do that. It, you, it's just YouTube hasn't taken the time for whatever reason to change my profile picture to what it is, even though I legitimately changed it to the old picture two months ago. Like if it was still the old picture, I wouldn't be as mad. But it's not even the old picture. It's a freaking Ichigo Kurosaki picture, which is just it's bullshit. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. I, I like Google, I really do. I like the Google as a company. The YouTube section of Google, though. I'm not exactly a big fan. Oh, Creeper! How's it going, buddy? Thank you. Thank you for... Oh, Buddy! That is not good at all. Let's turn that into Obsidian. Jesus Christ, man! It was like... I legitimately experienced hell. I could have died, man. Why didn't you guys warn me? You guys should have warned me. I'm mad at you guys now. Yes, you. You, right now. I'm you, the same person who made, who left that rude comment two seconds, not two seconds ago, it was probably like five minutes ago. You. I'm blaming you for this. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I don't care if you, you only thought about leaving the joke. Uh, if you only thought about leaving the comment, even if it was just a joke. It was just, oh shit. Fuck, man! See, you know what? I'm not listening to you guys anymore. You guys are not reliable at all. It's like I ask you to tell me where the um, lava is going to be, and, and you don't tell me. You got, That's rude, you know? I'm actually very offended that you guys would take the time to see me suffer just so that you can laugh. What is that? Oh, diamonds! Yeah, I'm going to stop being obnoxious for two seconds and go ahead and... Uh, do this. Yes. <laughs> and for those of you wondering, you're just like, wait a minute, I've never seen Mega so um so hostile towards his subscribers. Remember, I used to be nice, but you guys made me this way. I see a creeper. You made me this way. Oh, I'm not gonna worry about him. Ooh, we got two diamonds. Oh, three! Whoa! I knew that there was a catch. We have all these diamonds. Oh my god! This is a rather large vein. Alright, so what I'm going to do is actually is open this up. And then... So this is a really big vein, actually. Oh, Creeper, how's it going, buddy? I should have blocked. I don't know why I keep forgetting to block. Oh, and a zombie. Does like, everyone want to hurt me today? And that sword broke. All right, so diamond hunting was uh, was very successful. I don't feel like exploring this cave anymore. Truth be told, now that I have my diamonds. Um... All right, yeah, that's what I was worried about. In fact, let me. I'm going to expect. I'm going to inspect the entire thing to make sure that I don't lose any. Like that. That could have been bad. 
Is there is there lava underneath? 